Hey guys, AP here, and today we're going to be redoing uh, somewhat of a popular tutorial series. Uh, I mean, it's one of the, it's actually the most popular tutorial series on my channel, and one of my most popular anything on anything I've ever done on YouTube. And so, I mean, why not redo it? Because I'm starting to redo a bunch of series. Uh, because, you know, those are made a couple years ago. I've improved since then. I can actually explain things better. <laughs> and so now, I am going to uh, create uh, the Lightweight Java Game Library 3 tutorial series. And this one's a bit more planned out. And I can actually explain what I'm saying instead of saying, it just works. So, the first thing we have to do is we actually have to import the Java library. Or the Lightweight Java Game Library into it. So the first thing you need to do is you need to go into Lightweight Java Game Library and just go to this website right here, www.lightweightjavagamelibrary.org slash customize. And this lets you choose what you want. Now, before I chose everything, which we won't use everything. Like we wouldn't use um, a nuke, like we wouldn't use a bunch of these things. Uh, so, oh, we, okay, I guess we are. So now that we have that, we can actually use all these things. So before I could have used ASIMP for model loading. I didn't know that. Before I could have used STB for image loading. Didn't know that. And then the rest is just better. Open VR and OVR. That's just for uh, VR stuff. But we don't need that for right now. That's just for specific things. So what you want to do is you want to get it started. Include build config for whatever you want to do. If you want to load it with Maven, Gradle, or Ivy, you can. But I'm just going to use a zip bundle. And whatever your uh, uh, whatever your uh, OS is, you choose whatever it is. We're going to choose the latest version. We're not going to have any add-ons. We're definitely not going to have this. And although uh, Java Open Math Library is good, I'd rather do the math myself and, uh, and actually explain it to you so you understand what you're doing. And so after you get all this, you want to download the zip file. So it's going to be a little bit. Let that open up. And so after that, we're going to have ourselves a zip file. It's not that big. Uh, so we're going to open it up. Let's see what we got. Okay, so we have a bunch of uh, open, uh, all these, like we have a game library, uh, jars. So the next thing we got to do is we got to go into our uh, where our files are. And I'm just going to put it on, in the workspace I'm working with. I'm going to add a folder called uh, Lightweight Java Game Library 3 Jars. And you can put it anywhere, just you have to know where you put it. So go in there, go to your uh, zip file and just drag all the jars in there. Uh, you can put you can put the license in, licenses in there, uh, but for right now, we're just going to keep them out. We will, if you release a game, you will need it like as a license file, like one big license file. And so now that we have all of these, we can now import that as a library in Eclipse. So the first thing we're going to do is we're actually going to create our project. So I'm going to go in here and say Java Project. And if you want Eclipse, you can just go into another video on how to download Eclipse. And it's not that hard. All you got to do is go to Eclipse.org or it's .org. So go to there and then just download the latest version. And uh, the project name, I'm just going to say Lightweight Job Game Library 3 Tutorial. And we're all good here. Nothing too out of the ordinary. Uh, so we have ourselves a new job uh, project, but then we're going to go to Build Path, Add Libraries. And if we go to user.library, as you can see, there is none. So we're going to go into the uh, settings of it where we can actually uh, add stuff, change stuff. And so we're going to say we're going to have a new user library. We're just going to call this Lightweight Job Game Library 3. And uh, with this, we can actually add the jars. So uh, we're going to add external jars. Uh, and we're going to go to wherever our jars is in our tutorial, wherever you like to, wherever you put it. And I'm just going to select them all. So Control A. And we're going to import them. So as you can see, it imports them all. Uh, if you wanted to, you can add the source in Java Docs, but it's not really necessary because there's just it's just a bunch of waste of time, at least for me. 
So uh, what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, actually apply that. And so now that we have a lightweight JavaScript, uh, the library in here, uh, we should be able to start writing some code. So the first thing we're going to do is we are going to get um, uh, a loop started to actually run our code. So we're going to have a package, and we're going to call this package main. And this is where our program is going to be, our game. Uh, so the next thing we're going to do is we are going to add uh, a class. And we're just going to call this uh, main. And it's going to have our public static void main function. And in here, we are going to have ourselves a main function. So what I'm going to be doing a little differently is I'm going to be trying to do uh, a thread in this class. And a thread in Java is basically uh, like a little separate a uh, little separate like window it's all like different windows but instead of being a graphical interface it's just in the cpu so you can have like m two threads and they'll be running code at the same time simultaneously so you can have a thread for updating you can have a thread for rendering you can have a thread for doing math you know all those sorts of things and it, it'll do it as long as you don't know, have the threads on your cpu which most cpus and modern computers do so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say uh, public uh, thread, and we're just going to call this game. Because for, for right now we only need, oh, that's thread. Thread. There we go. So for right now we're just going to have one thread, but then we're going to branch off into multiple threads for faster performances. And so with this, we're going to, in our... Um, uh, initialize function because we obviously need an initialize function or a start function that's what it's actually called we need to say public void start and in here we are just going to write what our thread's going to be so if i can save this there we go so in here we're going to say game equals new thread and then whatever the name of the thread is going to be, which I'm just going to call it a uh, game, the same name as a variable. And so with that, we have ourselves a new thread, and we can actually run it with game dot run. Uh, if I can, there we go. So game dot run, it'll start the thread. So to prove this is working, I'm actually going to uh, run it in our main function. So to do this, we need to say uh, new main which is the class name, remember, public class main. And in here, we have a function called start that runs the game. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to say new main dot start. And when we do that and we run it, uh, nothing should happen. It should just go in and stop because we have nothing in our run function. So to actually do this, we need to ha have a run function. So public void run. And we're going to have a few more functions to actually branch off and do more things. So in our run function, we are going to do an initialize function, which uh, if we go up here, we say public void initialize, or in it for short, we actually need to make that static. Do we? Okay, yeah. So public static void in it, this is where we can like uh, set up all of our uh, game objects, like window, uh, renderer, all that sort of thing. Uh, but for right now, we don't have those, so we are just gonna let it do whatever. So uh, the next thing we gotta do is we have to say extends runnable, or is it implements? It's implements, okay. So instead of extends, it's implements. And so with that, uh, we can actually say run, and then it will actually do game.run. Okay, I'm back. Uh, so slight error. The first thing was uh, it's not game dot run. It's game dot start, or thread dot start. And secondly, we also need to provide uh, the class that the thread needs to run, which is our main class. So we're just going to say this. So if all of this goes according to well, we should have system dot output is initialize the game, in which we do. <laughs> Look at that. And so now we can actually uh, make ourselves a loop for the game. So we're going to just for right now, since we don't have any uh, window code, we're just going to say while true turn <laughs> while true 
uh, we just want to have ourselves an update function, which is going to be in our class, and we're going to have ourselves a render function. Render. Render. <laughs> All right, so we need to just add that. So these are actually going to be private. So private void update, because only the main class should use it, and private void uh, render. There we go. So if we save that, uh, we can have in our update, we're just going to say the same thing. Uh, so updating game and rendering game. So there we go. So updating and rendering game is going back and forth, is, and that's what we want. So uh, that's going to be it for the first episode. This is just setting up for um, ourselves a little... Uh, 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 Java, uh, Java class to actually start running our game. Uh, this is some, just some boiler code. So, um, in the next tutorial, we'll actually get the window and the loop together. So, I'll see you guys then. If you like the video, please make sure to like it, and if you want to see more of these, be sure to subscribe, and goodbye.